Have you ever wondered how to start investing? Welcome to the realm where money works for you, not the other way around. Investing is an essential tool for building wealth over time, and it's not as complicated as it may seem. From the bustling world of stocks and bonds, to the diverse landscape of mutual funds, and the tangible appeal of real estate, there are many avenues to explore, so buckle up. In the next few minutes, you will learn the basics of investing and how to get started. So, why should you consider investing? Well, the answer is simple, for potential financial growth, beating inflation, and achieving financial goals. Let's break it down. Investing can lead to financial growth. It's like planting a seed and watching it grow. You put your money in investments like stocks, bonds, or real estate, and over time, if all goes well, your initial investment will have grown. Next, investing helps you beat inflation. Inflation is the rate at which the general level of prices for goods and services is rising. If you're not investing, your money is losing value over time due to inflation. But when you invest, your money grows, often at a rate that outpaces inflation. Investing can also help you achieve your financial goals, whether you're saving for a new car, a home, or retirement. Investing can help you reach those goals faster. And remember, investing is not just for the wealthy, it's for everyone. It's about making your money work for you, instead of you working for your money. Investing is the key to financial freedom and it's never too early or too late to start. Before you start investing, it's crucial to understand the concept of risk and reward. You see, investing isn't a one-way street paved with gold. It's more like a winding road with its fair share of bumps and potholes, but also, potentially, some stunning views along the way. Think of risk as the possibility of your investment decreasing in value. Yes, it's a bit of a downer, but it's an essential part of the journey. On the flip side, we have reward, the potential for your investment to grow, to flourish, and to provide you with those sweet returns you're aiming for. Now here's where it gets interesting. Each of us has a different level of comfort when dealing with risk, and this is what we call risk tolerance. Some people are thrill seekers, ready to ride the roller coaster of high risk investments for the chance of high returns. Others prefer a gentler carousel ride, opting for lower risk investments that offer steadier but typically smaller returns. Both approaches have their merits and neither is inherently better than the other. The key is to understand your own risk tolerance. Are you a roller coaster rider or a carousel cruiser? Knowing this can help you choose the type of investments that align with your comfort level and financial goals. So take a moment, reflect, understand your willingness to accept risk because, ultimately, knowing your risk tolerance can help guide your investment decisions. Now that you understand the basics, how do you actually start investing? Well, investing isn't a leap, it's a series of steps. Think of it as a journey. You wouldn't start a journey without knowing your destination, would you? That's why the first step is to identify your financial goals. Are you saving for retirement, a down payment on a house, your child's education, or perhaps a dream vacation? Once you know what you're saving for, you can determine how much you'll need to invest to reach those goals. Next, you'll need to save money to invest. This might sound difficult, but it's easier than you think. It starts with budgeting and cutting unnecessary expenses. Perhaps you could skip that daily latte and put that money towards your investments instead. Remember, every little bit counts. Once you've saved some money, it's time to choose an investment account. There are numerous types of accounts available from individual retirement accounts known as IRAs to taxable brokerage accounts. Each has its own advantages and tax implications, so it's important to do your research and choose the one that best fits your needs. Now let's talk about investment options. There's a wide variety to choose from, including stocks, bonds, real estate, and mutual funds. Each comes with its own risk and reward. Stocks and real estate have the potential for high returns, but also carry more risk. Bonds and mutual funds on the other hand, are generally more stable, but offer lower returns. It's important to diversify your investments to spread the risk. Finally, it's time to make your first investment. Start small and increase your investments as you become more comfortable. Keep in mind that investing is not a get-rich-quick scheme. It's a long-term commitment. The key to successful investing is patience and consistency. Don't be discouraged by short-term market fluctuations. Stay focused on your long-term goals and keep investing. Remember, the journey of investing starts with a single step. And now, you're ready to take that step. Happy investing! So, what have we learned about investing? Well, we've certainly unpacked a lot today, haven't we? Let's take a moment to recap some of the key takeaways. Firstly, we discovered the importance of investing. We learned that investing is an essential tool for building wealth. 
By putting our money to work in the financial markets, we can grow our savings and secure a more prosperous future. Investing is not just for the wealthy, it's for anyone and everyone who wishes to improve their financial standing. Next, we delved into the concept of risk and reward. Remember, investing is not without its pitfalls. Every investment carries a degree of risk, but it also offers potential rewards. The trick is to find a balance that suits your financial goals and risk tolerance. Never forget the golden rule of investing. Higher potential returns come with greater risks. Then, we walked through the steps to start investing. We learned that it begins with setting clear financial goals, followed by building an emergency fund and getting rid of high interest debt. Next, we discussed the importance of understanding different investment options and choosing the ones that align with your goals and risk tolerance. We also highlighted the significance of diversifying your portfolio to spread risk and potentially increase returns. But investing isn't just about making the right choices today, it's also about staying the course. Patience and consistency are key. The journey of investing is not a sprint, it's a marathon. It's about staying committed to your plan, even in the face of market volatility. Remember, the world of investing may seem complex at first, but with the right knowledge and approach, you can navigate it successfully. Use what you've learned today as a foundation and continue to educate yourself. One step at a time, one decision at a time, you can build a financially secure future. Investing is a journey, not a destination. Start your journey today and build a financially secure future.